What's up YouTube? It's Carlo here and in today's video I'm gonna be going over the best order for your order operations for your retirement and how to minimize your taxes and grow your investments exponentially. But before we get into this make sure you guys watch all the way to the end. Also make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe button down below for more new content weekly and lastly if you guys haven't used Webull, this video is sponsored by Webull. Get four free stocks valued up to $1,600. Check the link down below, but let's get into it right now. So the first step in saving for your retirement more effectively is number one, save your 401k up to the match. The first thing in saving for retirement is to take advantage of the 401k or for those of you who have a 403b up to the employer match these are great plans for every eligible person that needs to participate and when the employer matches your contributions it is free money let me say it again it's free money for you why not take advantage of it but funding your retirement in a 401k is a great way to save because it gives you tax savings when you contribute and your investments grow tax deferred and in many places your company matches you minimize your taxable income so the more that you contribute to your 401k the more that you're able to hide from the government and decrease your taxable income so make sure to check it out so say for example your company matches up to 6% of your salary, but saying for specifically for the company that I work for, they match up, up to 6% up to 1,500. So basically they will may pay up to 1,500 each year free money that you get to keep, but obviously it depends on your vesting schedule, but not to get too deep into it, make sure you take advantage of the free money in your 401k. Step number two is to max out your IRA. After you invested the money into the 401k, at least up to your employer match, which is free money, the next step of the process is to fund your IRA account. You have two choices, a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA, but regardless which you choose, you should be investing in your IRA account. Investing in an IRA is a great way to save for retirement after you max out your 401k. There are two common misconceptions about an IRA account, but what you should know about the following is that you could invest up to $6,000 per year, which in 2018, as well as 2020 and 2021, and if you are 55 or older, you can make catch up contributions. All of your money should be going into this account. So basically the main difference between an IRA is it grows tax free, but when you pull out the money out of your traditional IRA, it is taxed. But in a Roth IRA, it is pre-taxed. So when you take money out of your Roth IRA, it is tax free. So the, the main difference is when you retire, where do you think your money, your taxable income, are you going to be in a higher tax bracket or are you going to be in a lower tax bracket? So that's where the main uh, decision about putting money into your IRA. Me personally, I put my money into a traditional IRA account, but make sure you do your due diligence and hide your money as much as you can from the government so that is part of step number two number three is to continue to max out your 401k contributions after you max out up to the max from your employer match if you've already maxed out the ira contributions up to six thousand the next part is to look into maxing out your 401k contributions so specifically in 2021 you can contribute out up to $19,500 into your 401k pre-tax. So you can actually have a total contribution of your employee plus employer contributions 
up to 55 50 excuse me fifty seven thousand dollars that's huge and if your employer allows after tax non roth ira contributions and you could actually afford it especially with all your expenses going on you might considering maxing this out too so that you can potentially take advantage of the mega backdoor roth ira but i'll probably do another video on that but after Maxing out your IRA, the next part is to max out your 401k contribution. So year to date in 2021, you could contribute up to $19,500. If you guys are able to do it, hide that money and save it for your retirement. Step number four, if you have a high deductible health plan and you are actually eligible to for your health savings account, you better be taking advantage of this and make sure you contribute into your hsa account up to the max that you can i consider the hsa to be a secret ira that nobody really is talking about but because it offers triple tax advantages for you and it's simply an awesome way to save money plus many employers offer matching contributions into hsas and many times the health insurances attached to the hsa is actually cheaper than other options that are offered by your traditional hmo ppo plans but make sure you guys utilize this if you have access to it the only reason that the hsa is listed at number four is that because many people don't actually qualify for this or your employer might not actually offer this for you but if you do qualify for it i would definitely move this one into number two and right behind taking advantage of your employer contribution match so another hidden tip about the hsa so basically think of your hsa as your medical health insurance but that money that you're putting into the hsa account is only used for medical health expenses i'll leave a card somewhere here on the screen so you could check out my video about the hsa and what i specifically do to actually invest my health insurance money to actually grow exponentially so make sure you check out the card in the video down below and if you want to sign up you could get some free money uh, signing up for lively but there are so many different advantages of ho uh, opening up a hsa account and i'll show a couple of the advantages of opening up a hsa account here on the screen so a couple of them are hsas are uh triple tax advantage Num number two there are no income limits on hsa contributions Three, HSA funds can be withdrawn at any time to qualify for any type of medical expenses. Number four, HSAs aren't use it or lose it. So if you don't use your HSA money, it rolls over into the next year. So many of you guys who have an FSA account, you, as you guys know, if you don't use that money in the FSA account, you will lose it. So that's what makes this account beautiful. Uh, number five, seniors 65 and over can withdraw money penalty free for any purpose. So it does not have to be for any medical expenses, but you have to be 65 and older. Number six, there are no required uh, distributions on your when you withdraw money from your HSA account. Number seven, you have flexibility in where you open up your HSA and what you invest in. And number eight, employers may make HSA contributions for some workers. So specifically for the company that I work for, they give me $500 every year to put into my medical health insurance in my HSA account. Take advantage of the free money if your employer offers it. And step number five for all my side hustlers out there, you guys should think about opening a SEP IRA. So like I said, for all the side hustlers out there or any of you guys who do freelance work and you are generating income, you should consider doing a SEP IRA. This is another way to save money pre-tax for your retirement. The SEP IRA account 
what this allows you to do is to lower your tax bill from all your side hustling activities. So with the SEP IRA, you could actually contribute up to 25% of your earnings or a max of $57,000, whichever is lower. And on to number six, save in a standard brokerage account. So basically after you invested in both your IRA and your 401k, you might not know what to do next. The next best thing you could do after maxing out all your traditional retirement accounts is to just invest in the standard brokerage. This is a type of account that has no special tax breaks for saving for retirement, but it comes in at step number five in order of operations for funding your retirement because it is important to invest versus just saving. So if you have your money in a regular bank, whether it be Chase, uh, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, or any other traditional bank, tell me, let me ask you guys, how much interest are you guys getting in your savings as well as your checking account? So with all the major banks that I was telling you, it's probably 0.003% on top of how much interest you're gaining. So how are you guys really making money? If you're just saving and barely making any type of interest on the money that you have in your checkings as well as savings account. So that's why I'm saying open up a standard brokerage account to invest your money to make it grow faster. So the key thing is to protect your money against inflation from just eating away at your returns as you fund your retirement. If you don't save the remainder and your most of your money is just going into your checkings as well as your savings account, your money will not grow. And at the end of the day, you need to make sure your money keeps up with inflation. And while saving is very important, it's more important to have your money grow over the long term. So what is one of the best investors say? If you are not making money while you sleep, then you're gonna have to work the rest of your life. So make sure the money that you are making, you put it to work, give it a purpose, and make it work for you. So a couple of different brokerage accounts that you guys could open, the traditional ones, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Royal Edge, there are so many different brokerages account, but for all you guys who are newer to the investing brokerages that are really easy to use, one is Weeble, number two is Robinhood, number three is M1 Finance. So I'll leave a link in the description of down below of which brokerage accounts that I use. You guys could get free stock and free money when you open up a brokerage account using my link down below. So guys, make sure you use it. It'll help both you as well as me get some free stock and let's help each other together, baby. But those are my seven steps on how to be as effective as possible in maximizing your retirement accounts and which steps. Number one, as I said, was to get the company match. Number two is to get your max out your traditional IRA or Roth IRA. Number three is to go back into your 401k, try to max it out up to the 19,500. Number four, max out your HSA account. It's triple tax deferred. Number five is for you side hustlers out there, open up a SEP IRA. Number six, open up a traditional brokerage account, whether it be Webull, Robinhood, or even M1 Finance, check the links down below. Make sure you sign up under the referral link. I'll help both you and me. And seven is don't really try to depend on social security to collect as you retire because a lot more people are living much longer. But I really hope you guys got a lot of good information from this video. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe down below, check the links out to help you guys as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.